everyone. I am up early with babies and tea and the big people in my house are starting to stir but the, the small people are still asleep. Looks like our schools have closed so I'm gonna have to be creative with my time. <laughs> I'm not gonna have as much time to paint because I have to keep littles busy but I, you know, it, it'll be a good thing. We'll spend some good time together and get some gardening done. I just really want to get him outdoors as much as I can. I won't talk too much about it because I know that we are just overwhelmed by all of this on every media platform. And I don't know about you, but it's kind of kind of bumming me out a little bit. As much as I'm hungry for information and news, I also need a break once in a while for real life because we still have to have real life and have good times and do all the things we have to do. I'm sitting here with Miss Saskia and what I'm going to do is just give you guys a sneak peek at all the babies that I'm getting ready for photography today. You have, may have seen some of these as I was working on them but they're all done now and um, two of them I think I might be keeping for Rose. I was gonna keep Saskia for Rose, but because she's so big, she's not gonna fit in the boxes that I'm taking, so I am gonna list her. But I will show you all the babies. As soon as the sun comes out, I'll do some photography. But I'm just getting them ready. This is what I do right before photography. I just got them all dressed. I may or may not change their clothes if it just doesn't seem right. I'm gonna get their hair ready, make sure everything's in their box that I need, like their passies and stuff. Um, I have had a couple of babies that have been traded or sold not very many but a couple and it drives me crazy when they relist the baby and they don't groom the baby because my name is still on that baby and I would not send a baby out in the world like that um, I like a wet look on a baby's head not everybody does but I do because mohair tends to be super dry and a little bit fuzzy even the best mohair does Passy, she has a blanket. I do have some cute socks. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them or not, but it probably will. So I don't always send my babies home in the clothes that they're photographed in, just because sometimes they are a vintage outfit that I really want to keep for prop. If I'm, if I'm not going to, I usually say so. And sometimes if I find a vintage sweater or something that I found at a consignment shop, I will keep it in my prop box and send the baby home in something else. And I always try to send them home in something just as cute. I'm not sure what other people do, but I might take pictures with the baby in three different outfits. I'm not gonna send all those clothes. Besides, you know, when people get a baby, they tend to want to dress the baby the way they want to dress the baby anyway. When I style them, it's just what I like. I don't expect that everybody will like that. But I think she is ready to go. I have her t-shirt in the box. I have her passive. And June awake. I love when babies have curly legs like this. Oh my gosh, it just, it makes me so happy. And I gave her green eyes because I posted her on Instagram when I finished uh, doing her hair and I asked people what color eyes and green came up a lot. So I just happened to have a pair of green eyes that were pretty and so I gave her some green eyes. She looks a little different. I don't think I've seen this baby with green eyes before but I think it goes well with her hair. I'll make sure her passies for her. It is, it works. I think she looks great. I'm not sure how well she's showing up in this light, but she's got very, very pink cheeks, a little pink nose. She's, this baby is one of those babies where I can't tell if it's super cute or super not cute. Those big eyes, they're just so wide and expressive. Um, let me just make sure everything's cool here with feet. Look at those feet. I double check everything because I don't want to be over there in the other room all set up for photography and notice that the baby doesn't have shiny toenails or I missed a spot or or something. I want to make sure that 
everything's good to go. And some of the babies I got dressed beforehand, but I did it kind of quickly, and I'm just making sure that everything is the way I like. So this baby, I had fun and put these beautiful kind of Robin's egg blue green eyes in. And he, this baby was a boy until I popped those eyes in and gave him some lashes, and then he suddenly became a girl. I don't know why, but um, that really is a cute face. It's just, it's just a, you know, kind of striking. I kind of like it. I tend to be attracted to things that are just a little bit different. Very cute. And this hair, I believe, is hair that I processed, and it's like a golden brown, maybe a super light brown or the dark blonde. And it's a bit wavy, but it behaves with some hair gel and some conditioner. I loved painting this baby's hair. It turned out so cute. I'm going to show you this face one more time. Look at those eyelashes. Aren't they great? Okay, that baby is ready to go. And this is Evelyn, and I have someone, you know who you are, who has been asking me for Evelyn for a really long time. The last time I made Evelyn, I think I made her as a boy. And I, I hate to disappoint if the person was hoping I'd make her as a boy again, but this time she just said girl through and through to me. And um, I think this dress is perfect for her coloring. I'll give you a little close-up. She's pretty fair for me. I tend to paint a little bit darker, so for me, this is a fair baby. Um, so if you're ever wondering when you look at my descriptions, when I say medium complexion, light complexion, fair complexion, dark complexion, AA or ethnic, for me, this, this is a fair baby. She has a lot of lavender undertones, some rose, a little bit of amber, and uh, oh, quite a lot of modeling, um, but it's super, super subtle. It's really, really under the skin. I did lots of flesh layers there. She's still translucent. You can see her leg. You can see her a bit of modeling. And her feet turned out great. Look at that. They're so cute. I painted this baby a while back and she has been sitting in my um, studio for a long time. And I just found her by accident the other day. Actually a super, super cute baby. Probably one of my favorites. This was when I first started painting. I fell in love with this baby right away. I've painted this baby a billion times. I don't know what it is about that face. And I, this is the baby that I used to make my avatar. Um, and for me, this skin tone here would be a mixed AA. Maybe some people would consider that AA, um, but for me, um, I would go a little darker if I was making an AA baby. Here are her little legs. Now, the reason why she was in my fix-it box is because whatever I used on her lips peeled off the varnish that I used on her lips. I don't know what happened if my brush was contaminated. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to clean and I'm not going to strip her lips, but I'm just going to clean off these lips the best that I can. I will um, take her head apart and um, maybe uh, bake another layer of maybe, you know, a pale lavender over this a little bit and then re-varnish them. Otherwise, she's absolutely perfect and she's just been hiding out in my studio. So I wanna get that done. I can't wait to get her listed. I cleaned out this week and organized, and so I found Lane, but I also found that I have six Josephs. I like that sculpt, but I don't think I've bought six of any sculpt before. I'm not sure what happened. I think Bountiful Baby must have had a good sale and I took advantage. Here's a belly plate. This belly plate is not made for um, Joseph, but I, it fits as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I like and I like the way it looks. Now this is a baby I'm gonna photograph in baby whites. And I'm going to leave it up to that person as to what gender they want this baby to be. Again, for me, this baby would be considered fair for me. 
and Joseph is 18 inches, I believe, and I think the recommended body is 19 inches. And I put that body on and he just seemed too elongated. Like, so I put on the 17 inch body and I like it a lot better. And the plus is for me, I think, is that I was able to use this smaller belly plate and it looks really cute, let me show you. So this is my opinion and it's just my opinion on belly plates. Now, I love the way they look and I love when you pose babies and you do photography. I think it looks really great but I generally don't send these bodies with laces because I can't imagine anybody wanting to cuddle a baby with these. these they're bulky and they make babies look like they're barrel chested when they get dressed. For photography, they're fine. Or for displaying, I think they're great. They're good for posing. This body's a good, good match for this baby. And again, I'm gonna put the belly plate in for photography. I wanna expose that little belly because that's just way too cute. When I, when I send the baby out to you, my intention is for the hair to look like this. It goes, I, I root along with the painting. It might come to you with very dry hair that looks, you know, a little like this. And you might say, hey, that's not what the baby looked like in the photography. <laughs> Well, no, because this baby has traveled and he's got bed head and you need to give him some love. So, um, see what I mean about this body just being bulky? People love them. I love them, but they're not practical. So, if you get a baby of mine, you usually get a little tiny spray conditioner to get you started. You can make your own or you can buy some. Just make sure it doesn't have a lot of harsh chemicals in it. Stay away from stuff with a lot of alcohol in it. Alcohol is not a friend of Genesis Heat Set Paint. So, and if you have fragrance, do not spray that on your baby's vinyl, please. That has a ton of alcohol in it. Just kind of a quickie, I wouldn't suggest this all the time. And if you're in a pinch, you got your baby, you haven't shopped for things that you need, or you don't have access to something that's created. Um, I make mohair conditioner, and my intention, as you can tell, was to sell it online, but I just don't have the time um, right now to be shipping tiny bottles off a lot. I might do that in the future, but for right now, I just don't have the time. I am gonna take this conditioner to the Rose Show, but for right now, I think I'm gonna stay away from selling products other than selling babies, because this is keeping me busy enough right now. But if you're in a pinch and you need some conditioner for your baby, grab a mild conditioner like maybe go to the kids aisle or to the baby aisle, put maybe a tablespoon of conditioner in a bottle this size and um, add some warm water, give it a really good shake. I mean like, you know, walk around the house shaking that thing up. You wanna break up all those particles, it's just good. So um, I know you're watching me spray baby's heads, but I made this conditioner myself. I know it's good for these babies and it's not gonna hurt them. So uh, I feel comfortable doing that. I usually spray on the brush though. And I don't know what's in the conditioner that you made and I don't want you spraying it on the baby just in case. Just spray it on the brush and then give the baby, baby some grooming. And again, I don't think I'm gonna go for any fancy outfits with this baby. I might grab a little sleeper to photograph him in. He looks great in baby wipes and a diaper. For me, I, it just, I don't know, makes my ovaries ache. See how, see how puffy he looks with that body in? I'm leaving it in for photography, but that's about it. He is gonna be so, or she is gonna be so cute. Ready to go. Made a gender neutral passy. And I do have a couple of white sleepers. Every once in a while, I like people to just decide for themselves. And that baby translates wonderfully, boy or girl. 